anyway, what I want we're gonna a couple of things I want to talk about today. You know, a lot of people or different countries all over the world are having what they call meet and greets. They get together, they invite a bunch of people, kind of a big shindig or whatever you want to call it. It's cool, but I kind of wanted to back down on them because right now, if you have one, what is the theme and why are you doing it? Now, I know people want to go, they want to get people together, and then they want to get the big numbers. They invite um, Muhammad Kamal, and then they invite uh, um, Ash and other leaders, and you know that's got to that's got to stop right now. For, for one thing, let's wait until you have something to showcase, right? You can when the when the products come out, you can you can put them up and have something to show people. But just getting together, you can do that. I'm, nobody's stopping you from getting together. I would not would not have a big thing where you collect a bunch of money. I just would not do that. Ash doesn't like it. The company doesn't like it. And there's a protocol that if you want to do it, you need to get a hold of the company on how you want to do it. Because if the, if the name on pass is going to be involved, it's got to be done right. Otherwise, it's your get-together. They so happen to be uh, founders. So be very careful. We are not, we are not going to use the company Zoom for these meet and greets. We're not until I have says, okay, this is a, this one is being done the way it should be. Go ahead and stream it around everybody's uh, YouTube. It's very important, guys. It doesn't make sense to do all this stuff now, right now. And I'm seeing part of it as competition. Uh, I know other people are too. Now we can say, oh, no, that's not what we're doing. But one team has them, next, same country, next team has them. And how many people did we get? It's just, it's not, it's not a good time. Let's let the company get done. Let's get, let's get launched. And if there's products, you can say, hey, look what we got. Get people together and say, here's O-Connect. You know, here's O-Mail or something like that. So I'm going to turn it over to Spock. And he can tell you some updates. Live long and prosper, everybody. This is on passive. Okay. Now, yesterday I was on PNG. Was it yesterday or day before? Uh, day before, I think it was. And uh, I did a bit of a recap over the last four to six weeks of how things have evolved, where we are, and moving forward. And do you know something? I absolutely loved it. It's on my YouTube channel as well, if you want to watch just the part that I did uh, as well. But when you start talking about what we have done and achieved only in the last four to six weeks, it really is amazing. You know, what we have managed to put together as a company, how far forward we've gone and where we are right now on that cusp of within the next two weeks of knowing that we are going into that next part for us as founders. It is so exciting, it really, really is. But it's very important that we make sure that us collectively as founders keep reiterating the same things to our teams. And that is make sure you start to get plugged in right now. I was talking to a guy today, he admitted he hadn't been plugged in and he said, Red, why isn't my name on my links within the back office? And I said, mate, they haven't been there since June. This is the kind of thing that we need to start reiterating to our teams, to people who we know have not been within the loop because they are playing catch up. And the way that we play this catch up for them is point them in the right directions. I purposely did that bit of a, a breakdown of where we are and where we are now for the guys in PNG to try and bring them all up to date so that we are now all on the same page. Because as sure as eggs eggs eggs, when we come to us as founders activating our accounts, okay, we need to be ready. Okay, and what do I mean by being ready? I mean, we do not want to be in scenarios where we are asking questions about things that we should know the answers to. It's your business. We need to start taking responsibility 
for our own business, okay? Not expecting somebody else just to fill you in if you don't know. That's not being responsible. That's not being positive, active within your own business. That is just being a person who's going, I can't be, but I'll, I'll wait for it to launch, then I'll catch up. Well, if, that, if that's you, that's absolutely fine, but you can't expect to have all the things that somebody else might have right at the beginning because they have put the effort and time into making sure they are good to go. It is simple mathematics at the end of the day. You know, the people who have put the time, the work and the effort in, they're the ones that are gonna reap the rewards at the beginning. Are people who haven't been plugged in, are they gonna get left behind? No, nobody gets left behind in on passive, but it's gonna take you a bit longer to catch up, to then get that ball rolling. Why not spend the time now treating your business as a serious business, making sure everything is in place. And part of the everything in place is that your accounts, you know where they are, you know the passwords, you know the emails, the names are correct, and we have got everything ready to rock and roll. It's as simple as that. You know, we are really in a great position. I was not expecting uh, our CEO to come on tomorrow and do the uh, corporate webinar that he's doing. Now, it is a different time, okay? That is at 12 noon for the guys over in the States at Eastern. For us over here in the UK, that is at uh, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. for Europe. And I think that makes it 9.30 for the guys over in India. Why has he chosen this time? We don't know for sure, but there is a very strong possibility. It's because he would want the guys in Hyderabad and in Dubai to be present at that time. Many a time, the tech guys and workers over there have stayed up almost 24 hours, well into the early hours of the day and night uh, so that they can be on the corporate webinar. He wants it a bit early so that we are not burning these guys out. There is so much work going on right at this moment that we need to almost protect these guys so that they don't burn out before we get to that finish line. It's all about timing. And this is part of making sure that we protect them to a certain extent. That's all i got for the moment. Over to you, Chris. Hey, great information, Red and Marty. Uh, I'm going to do a little, you know, I always say to these guys, I got nothing. And it's the truth. Until they start talking, something pops in my head. Now, I don't do lives on, on, on Passive 360 today. One thing I don't think my brothers mentioned, but they could have. No, I don't think they did. We're going to have a webinar at 12 o'clock tomorrow with Ash Mafara. Okay, tonight the panelist link will go out. Now I wanna reiterate, when you get that email and panelist link, there's directions on there. I wanna tell everyone what they are real quick. When you come on to an ASH webinar, number one, you wanna come on in the beginning, we have a little tap dance and come on and say hi, that's great. Rules are keep yourself muted at all times. We don't force mute you. Keep yourself muted at all times. Don't jump out of place. Uh, no, no tech, no support questions. If Ash calls you out uh, and, and wants to ask you a question or says your name, that's fine. Respect everyone on there. If you do get on there, all right, if you're on there, it's not a webinar to promote yourself or whatever you're doing. It's a quick, hi, how you doing? Thank you, Ash. Thank you, tech team. We don't need to go into a 30-minute story for each person. Otherwise, we'll be on there for 12 hours. That's just the rules. That's just to respect everyone. So please uh, read those emails. They're going to go out tonight and respect the rules. If you have a problem with those rules, please call me immediately and we'll talk about it. Real simple to do. Um, also, uh, I had a few people this morning, not a lot, that were, they were a little, you know, they, they were complaining. And of course, you know, I'm the complaint department, obviously. Uh, this is not happening. This, listen, listen, when I went to my job for 32 years, I had a responsibility. My responsibility was to get up in the morning or afternoon and go to work and do my job and deal with over 900 people a day, okay? And then passive, you heard what Red just said, all you really gotta do is plug in once in a while, make sure you can get in your back office, watch our lives or our 360 where we're gonna update you. It's real simple. I did that for 32 years. Now when I'm passive, I wake up, 
Check my back office, anything going on? Well, okay. That's really all the responsibility. When you paid that, you made the right choice when you became a founder. That's the honest to God truth. But it never said to Chris, Marty, or Red, which we do, be on every webinar, get out and talk. That's what we chose to do. Everyone's got a choice. But a lot of people, I guess, that complain to me are the people that really never watch anything. And all I ask, do one webinar a week or just watch the lives. We got a lot of lives going on here. And it will update you. Or the best thing, get into your back office, go in the update section. And every meeting we've done, the updates are in there with notes by Peter, Daryl, Dan Street, Janet Butler. They're phenomenal. They'll catch you up. Trust me, they will. And it'll explain things. A lot of people still asking questions. Yeah, that, that's way beyond what we're doing right now. Don't worry about it. Is what I'm trying to say is I joined on passive because Peter Shore said, Chris, I'm not kidding you. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything. All right. And I thought about that. What I did for 32 years at my one job, I had many jobs before that, but I thought what I had to do on my jobs, I had to go to work every day, took my time away to make money on passive is not taking your time away. If you have an issue or a problem with the passive, or if you're bothered with it, we do we say go fishing, go do something fun. Don't think about it because technically you don't have to worry about it. Ash Mafar and the tech team, myself, Marty and Red, we said this a million times, let us do the work for you. Let us carry if we have to for a while, okay? But when this launches to the world, you're gonna see a lot of different attitude changes where like, oh my God. And that's all it's about for some people. Some people in here just have the belief. You're looking at three of them right now. The belief of them passive, the belief, the belief in it, what Ash Mafar has told us. And let me tell you, if you knew anything about business, erase it out of your head. Ash Mafar is doing it a different way. Everything he's done, every step he's taken is completely different and it's brilliant. It's flipping brilliant as Red would say in the UK. Flipping, I said that right, right? Or Wallaf, I don't know what those words are, but all I'm trying to say is, be thankful for what you have, because if you didn't have them passive right now, what would you do? What would you be doing? You'd be going to work with not nothing in front of you, right? And passive literally is right in front of us, ready to rip. Stay excited. Marty DeGarmo, I really had nothing to say. Back to you. <laughs> Thank God me and Red don't pay attention to you when you say it. Um, another thing I want to say, you know, a lot of times each week, because things are happening so fast, Ash will bring up or drop a bomb or many bombs or big bombs or whatever. And some people, and I want to address this, they hear something and they, they automatically think, oh my God, if we're going to do that, then this isn't going to happen until many things are happening at the same time. When they bring, when Mr. McFarr brings something up, it doesn't delay anything else that he's ever brought up. It, it, none of that, okay? The other thing is, people panic when they hear something. Oh my God, how are we going to do that? I don't know how to do this. The KYC, what's that? When you need to know, when we need to know, we'll know. And if you're having a little bit of problem, you've got a million people to help you. I mean, you think we do this every day and then the Wednesday 360, we're going to leave you, you know, behind? No. The only way you could be left behind and unpassive if, is if, you want to be, you don't want to be plugged in, you refuse to pay attention, then you're going to be left behind. And so what? I mean, that's you've elected to do that, but everybody's going to help each other. It will be fine. Uh, and if you think this is as good as it gets, wake up because what we don't know is much bigger than what we do know. That's a fact. And keep your, keep your eyes forward. Be engaged. Things are going to happen quick. Like Red said, I was really surprised with the crazy week or weeks that Ash has had that he was going to squeeze in a, a webinar tomorrow. I just, I, I, I was blown away. In fact, it's the first time I didn't ask him. He said it to me. You ever going to do a webinar at noon? I went, whoa, what the frick? This, yeah, so that's cool. So there's probably stuff to share. And that's a good thing. But when you hear something, don't panic. Why? I, I've never seen people, KYC, well, I don't have this. Little. Listen, every time we hear him, he's making it more and more simple for everyone. It's simple. 
He does He made it that way. When we, when people were upset in the past about, oh, I don't know if I can afford it. And I don't know if we can do. It's all been planned for. Everything. I got people going. Yeah, but I live in Bangladesh. I don't know. You don't think he knows those founders in other countries? I mean, it's going to be set up for everyone, if at all possible, everyone. Redundancy is what Ass is looking for. He can get a merchant, but Ass has been in this position, in this uh, online business type of thing for years. And he knows what it's like to get into a business and you got a merchant account. There's a problem, boom, people aren't getting paid. So you, you make many avenues for things to, to fill in in case there's a problem. And this is a big business. Big money will be flowing around. You got to get it right. So it's better to wait for the foundation and get things right than hurry along and worry. And listen, and I'm going to say this again. I said on my live two times in a row. We have too many people thinking that we should be in the showroom. No, no, no. We're in the workshop behind the showroom. There's stuff on the floor. There's wood chips. Things don't look right. Smells like oil. Smells like gas. Let it go. Oh, this doesn't work. This isn't quite right. You're not a customer. Stop acting like a customer. We're not customers. We are reset. We are founders. We know it's going to get better. Put that in your head. You know it's going to be better. Everything's going to be better. And when it matters, is when people come into the showroom and they see our products spinning around on a pedestal going, oh, that is amazing. That's what matters. Today doesn't matter. Who gives a crap? Listen, we weren't there at the prototype of iPhones. Guaranteed. Things came up and there was yelling and screaming, this doesn't work. I pushed the button, it's supposed to go to here and it took a picture of me and trust me, all that happens. But when it was ready to sell, it was stating the art in the best of the best. Ask me for is even better than that. And we will be better than all of those products. So breathe in, breathe out, wax on, wax off, okay? Karate kid. Uh, so just relax. Everything will be okay. I'm going to turn it over to Red. I'm, I'm done. Okay. Thanks very much, Marty. Uh, I'm going to piggyback on something Marty said uh, just a moment ago. Now, we were all on the webinar last week, and uh, if you remember, Mohammed Kamal came on and gave us some advice. Okay, uh, this goes back to what Marty was saying about people having meetings around the globe. What did I take more out of last week's than anything that I've seen so far? And that is what I've just said about you guys taking this seriously as a business. I saw uh, last week a little bit of a shift in the corporate itself saying, right, we are now nearly out of the workshop. We are heading towards the showroom and we want to show the world that we are a proper business. This is the process that we are going through at the moment now is that, yes, we've had some fun. Yes, we've been mucking around. We've been doing all these bits and pieces, but now we are on that verge of showcasing on passive to millions upon millions of people around the globe. And we are a serious business. This goes back to people having meetings at the moment. Quite frankly, why? We've got nothing to sell. There's no founders positions anymore. The only reason that makes any logical sense, and as soon as I'm Spock at the moment, it has to be logical, is that they are doing it as a get together or a gathering. Absolutely fine, not a problem, but you do not need corporate on passive to be involved in that. If you wanna to get together as founders, enjoy each other's company and all the rest of it, you crack on, not a problem at all. But it's not a corporate matter, not at this stage, because there is nothing to sell. There is no purpose to the meetings. If you are looking for exposure, that's fine. But you have to have something to follow on from that exposure. When we did Burj Khalifa, fantastic, absolutely spot on. Why? 
the founders position was still open wasn't it we wanted people to come in they wanted the foundership to expand and it worked beautifully and brilliantly that founders position has been closed now since june so there is no real reason for that to happen anymore ourselves in the uk we were planning one in november we took the decision two months ago what's the point we have got nothing to offer so we've shelled that and we are now going through to next year why because it's going to be more beneficial to every single founder in the uk to have this function next year because we're going to have products to sell because we're going to have customers because with the resellers position is going to be available we will be showcasing our products our services and offering people something to buy something that on passive has got so it makes perfect sense so just a little bit guys have a good think about why you are putting these events together okay if you're putting it together for yourselves fine not a problem but corporate cannot get involved at the moment because it is almost counterproductive to corporate on passive to be involved in something that we are not going to get anything out of the last thing i want to bring up is obviously tomorrow we have got a our uh, corporate webinar make sure you're early guys because it sure is eggs is eggs it's going to max out and if you want to hear the uh, information live you need to get in there straight away but on friday i will be doing a recap as normal and i'm sure the uh, very well written uh, recap updates will be in the um, in the back office under the update section which is always done by the amazing peter sura janet butler and uh daryl cook they do such a good job of that uh to bullet point all of those uh i'm away over the weekend with my grandchildren but i still will be doing on passive i'm committed to making sure that i keep you guys in the loop that's it from me back to you chris all right. Very good, Red Marty. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I want to give an example. Okay, two examples I want to give what, what Marty and Red are talking about. This isn't meant to be a doom and gloom 360 or we're yelling at you. We're just trying to make a point here. And I want to give you, this is for the people that's like-minded like me. Let's say you go out and spend a couple hundred bucks and you buy a bunch of wood and a can of red paint. And you build this little venue that says, for sale Kool-Aid. And you stick it out in front of your house by the street, but yet you got no Kool-Aid to sell. You understand what I'm saying? You built the venue, kind of like what you're doing in these beat and greets, but you got nothing, nothing out there. No, no, nothing to show as far as what you can. What they're trying to say is be patient and wait. Now, here's my second one. If that made any sense, maybe it didn't, maybe it did. Okay. Here's my other point. I get a lot of individuals that come on and they want to do this great speech, which they're great. Sometimes they do it on the wrong webinars. Here's my challenge to you. If you want to promote yourself, self-promote, like I did for two years about talking about a passive Red and Marty, what did we do? We got on our computer, we went on to our FB book, we call it, and we did lives. I only see a few people I can name, Pat Parent, Sherry Dursway, Raphael, uh, David Switzer even gets out and does lives, and there might be a few more I missed, but uh, May, or my young was doing a live the other day what you want to do now you don't want to preach to us we know about a passive but you can get on there and do a live and let them know what's coming on a passive about o academy oh man our free products that is where you'll impress me that is where i'll say there's a diamond in the rough get out and talk to new people we as founders we already know what's going on <laughs> most of us i should say all right but Go do something new. You got to get the attention to the rest of the world. You guys, we're all in the same big pond right now. Talk. We said this two years ago. We keep fishing in the same pond. Break out, break your fear, and start talking to new people about it. It takes literally three minutes to do a quick live about letting people know this is coming. Get your information. See if you can get their email or their names. You won't bother them. It's real simple to do. But if you want to come on a platform, on one of our webinars and do this 
three hour speech, look at me, look what I got, look what I did. I want you to go do it on your own. We already know what you did. I love every one of you for what you did, but get out on your own, on your Facebook. If you don't know, call me, I'll teach you how to do it. Take me five seconds to teach you, but get out and talk about a passive because you know what? It's coming. It's coming hard and it's coming fast and it's going to completely change your, your life, whether you're happy, crabby or whatever you are, it's coming. Marty DeGarmo, I got nothing else, brother. Marty, I actually think that Chris Johnson's been drinking that Kool-Aid, to be honest. Yeah, and it's not your regular Kool-Aid either, you know what I mean? And we have two seconds before I turned on the camera, he said, guys, I have nothing. <laughs> he does it every week. Every week. And we don't even listen to him. We go, yeah, okay. Because we don't believe him. But anyway, uh, here's the thing. Like Chris said, and, and I've been thinking about this the last few weeks. I think I talked to Red about it. When you're doing your lives now, like Chris said, I trust me, I know about Unpath pretty well. So start focusing on the man and the woman that might be watching this that isn't an unpassive. Throw out little things that why you're in. Why are you in? What is it about it? Uh, what if there was a business that did this, this, and this? Spend a, a small time doing that so that when they go to look, remember, videos never disappear. That's a plus. I've seen a couple of them. Some of it's not a plus. I wish they would disappear. But try to focus on people that aren't in yet, and let's start moving this moving this thing down the road to where we're bringing more people in because you're doing it anyway. If you're going to do a live, leverage it and try to get some people to maybe pay attention. That's all I have. Brett, if you don't have anything, I'm going to close it out. Okay. Hey, thanks everybody. I mean that. So does Red and Chris from all of us to all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Don't forget uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow noon is a corporate webinar. I'm, I, I, I think Red's on at 11. Uh, yeah. Uh, before that as well, I probably won't be on, but uh, Australia are on tomorrow, 6 a.m. Eastern time, which is 11 a.m. for the UK guys, 12 for Europe. And oh. they've got a very special guest. Michael Williams is going to be on that as well. That is at uh, 11 a.m. UK, which is 6 a.m., guys, uh, for you guys in the States. I'll be opening that up. Beautiful. You opened it up today, yeah. didn't you? No, didn't you open yeah. it up today, Red? <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder why that is then, Chris. Yeah. Man, the Aussie chicks and the Kiwi guy, I was mistaken, but I really do apologize. <laughs> you know, the best really of it funny. Is, Red said, Marty, you coming? I was so glad I said no, Red. <laughs> I know. That was at four o'clock in the morning. I was talking yeah. to Marty, 4 a.m. his yeah. time. And Chris was trying adamant that it was Thursday today. I was, well, right. it is Thursday in Australia. That's why always, <laughs> to everybody out there, especially if you're talking to Chris, double check. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you all and have a great day and uh, powerful stuff happening. Be ready. Pay attention. Yeah. You need to know. You need to know. Marty. See you all. Uh, Marty, yeah. hold on, hold on. And I will be having a, another fun competition held on my Facebook. I have another hairdo for red. I am going to post it tomorrow with both pictures. And I want you to vote on which one you like. It's really funny. And I'm having a blast with it. There no winners as well tonight, guys, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Nine o'clock. Uh, oh, oh, winners. Yes. Oh, winners tonight. That's right. Thanks, guys. All right. I'll see you all. Have a great day. Bye, Spock.